So today on Instagram, I was asked, what is a study unit? So I thought to do a quick recap video. I do have other longer videos on this topic if you want to look into it further. But for these purposes, I'll keep it brief and short. So what exactly is a study unit? It's, and I suppose people could have their own thoughts on this and their own definitions for this. But for me, a study unit is a topical area of interest that you focus on kind of like a project for a set amount of time so it may be half a term a full term so on it's up to you it could be two weeks four weeks six weeks it really is down to the parent and the child themselves so once you picked your topic you would you would then incorporate various methodologies of teaching and various core subjects as well so in any one study unit you could have english math history science geography a language as well as the other more practical hands-on mediums that you've got for learning such as baking and cookery documentaries day trips out to places such as national trust um, english heritage anything like that really will fall into that bracket museum trips and so on if you watch our stuff you'll see that we've been doing the bronze age here and you'll also be able to see that we've gone out and about in the world we have been visiting places that are linked to the Bronze Age, stuff that we can tie in as well. So we've done lots of trips of that nature. Um, I've been hammering the National Trust and English Heritage Cards. <laughs> but it all ties it in nicely together for the children and brings it all to life for them. And one of the beauties of unit studies is that you can allow your child to actually direct it for you. You can follow their lead. So when you first start putting unit studies together, you may want to pick something that your child enjoys, something that they're interested in, something that they're already focused on, and something that they actively want to learn about. Mine love history and science, so that's always a win here. However, yours could be Minecraft fans, football fans, sports fans in general, really. You could be into gaming, building things with Lego, big nature fans. They could be into a particular animal. They could be into anime. Any of that is a win, and you can use that to create a bespoke unit study for your child, which engages them in learning actively. And half the time, you can sneak in the core subjects so that they don't even realise they're covering core subjects. Children engage more when it's an area that they're actively interested in, a topic that they're act actively interested in. And as long as you get creative, there is lots of ways you can inject some fun into their learning journey. They're also a great way to transition from the de-schooling period into the more focused period, and that's whether you do unschooling or not. And a unit study can be adapted to any philosophy of learning. And that's whether you run school or you prefer more structure. You may follow Montessori, or, like me, you could be quite eclectic. I see a little bit from every different methodology. If it works for us, I'll take it. If it doesn't work for us, it goes in the bin. And when you're putting a unit study together, you want to consider how your child learns best. Are they a kinesthetic learner, so they like doing things with their hands? Or are they a more academic learner, so they like learning the traditional ways? Sites like Twinkle, Tez and OutSchool have lots of resources available that covers such a wide, vast array of topics that you'll be able to find something for everything that you're interested in. And if you can't, you can always make your own as well. <laughs> Take advantage of the internet, museums, documentaries, libraries. <laughs> Have to apologise, but... <laughs> that is my child with their day to day making themselves known up there. I don't have a clue what he's doing. He's just shouting and wailing in his room because... It's Anthony. He's not in any pain or trouble whatsoever. He just like he's diagnosed with Tourette, so <laughs> yeah, just ignore the background noise. There's nobody is being murdered in my house. I can assure you, it is just my child up there. <laughs> and lots of places also offer home ed workshops and events. They'll host days especially for them and put on workshops of a certain topic. For instance, we've just done the B one. Our next one is an early man one, which ties in quite nicely. So you can tend to find them like that in their group sessions that everyone from your area will book onto and go to as a group. And they're a lovely day out as well, but they are really useful for unit studies. As I said before, I do have other videos on unit studies. Any further questions, just pop them in the comments below and I will get back to you.